goes before me. Defender behind me.
You're doing good, family. You're doing good. You're doing good. Let's just take a moment and let the Holy Ghost sell this house. Let the comforter do what he can do best. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're doing good, family. You're doing good. Oh, Jesus, comfort. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Let's let the Holy Ghost sell the house. Come on, let God be the comforter that he can be. Hallelujah. Sweep over my soul. Sweep over my soul. Sweet spirit. Sweep over my soul. My rest is complete. Well, I kneel at his feet, sweet spirit, sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, sweet spirit. Sweep over my soul. My rest is complete while I kneel at his feet. Sweet spirit, sweep over my soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're doing good, family. You're doing good. Let the comforter do his job. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, sweet spirit of the living God. Lord, we ask that you look upon the family right now. We ask that your hand, your comforting hand, be upon them, oh God. Touch as only you can. God of all comfort, we know that you can do as only you can do. Now, Lord, I'm asking you to rest upon this family. Rest upon the loved ones, the friends, those that have came out to show their support and show their love. Rest upon this people right now. Let your comfort in hand be upon them. And, oh, God, they'll give you glory. They'll give you praise. But right now, Lord, come alongside them as only you can. Be the comforter as only you can be in the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus, be all you can be to this family right now. Comfort them in a mighty way. In Jesus, in Jesus Woo, hallelujah, in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise God. Well, on behalf of the family, I want to tell you that they're so grateful for you to take time out of your busy schedule to come and show confidence, show support in this time of need in their lives. They want to send out a shout to you on that. I know they do. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Now we're going to follow the program. Everyone should. If you don't have one, maybe you can look on with your neighbors. But we're going to follow the program. It's close as we can, and uh, I've already received a call if one of the family members that called me, he may mention he may do something, and that's okay. 
We'll let him do that. He has the right to do that. If he feels led to do that. But other than that, we're going to follow suit what we have here. And we're going to commemorate the life of this young man. It's not about death. It's about the life. Death is inevitable. We're all going to go that route. So it's not about death this morning. But it's about how you want to live. It's about how you want to live. Praise God. If you follow suit with me, uh, I just did the prayer of comfort. And we're going to have the tribute, and we'll go down the line just as it is. Now, when we get to the expression part, the family has expressed their desires that those that want to say what's on their heart to do that. But we want to make you aware that there may be some people behind you, which we know there will be others. So just be aware of the time, please, please, please. Just be, be aware of the person that's coming up behind you. And then we have the acknowledgments and the obituary will be read silently. We got a saxophone tribute by Brother Larry Thomas and a solo poem, another saxophone tribute. And then we'll get our eulogist, Bishop Stan Davidson, on the floor. And we'll follow suit in light of the program as much as possible. God is good. God is so good. I met this young man in 2021 when I landed in Alabama. And that was over 20 years ago. So I met this young man when he was 11 years old. <laughs> 11 years old, and he has been a blessing. We can tell by the response of this crowd. We thank God for his life. We celebrate the life that he did live. We thank God for that. Amen. Now we're going to have a tribute by the Bishop, by Bible Fellowship, excuse me, Bible Fellowship praise team, a tribute, if you don't mind. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. 
praise, every praise, every hallelujah, every glory to God, every praise, Woo, every praise. Ah, my, 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 hallelujah, every praise, Lord Jesus, have well, we can, we can, I, I believe, I believe it'd be in order. Timothy want us to praise him at his home going. Every praise. My God, every praise. Woo, hallelujah. I, I, I want to, for the expressions, I don't really know if we got a mic, an extra mic we could put over here. And for those that want to do expressions, you got it set up already? Okay, for those out there that want to do expressions, now remember, please, 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 beloved, remember the time, remember the time, but you're more than welcome. This is, this is your time. This is your time. Those that want to do expression, please make your way up front, and if you want to get a line going, that's fine, but this is the mic that you use. You're open. Come on, this is your time. Praise God. Any expressions? Any expressions? Praise God. In Jesus' name, any, any expressions? My Lord, have mercy. Praise the Lord. Brother Anderson has spoke so much wisdom into my life. And just real quick, I took that same walk. 12 years ago, that's the longest walk they've had to walk in their life it's from the back of that building in front of the church. And as days go on, that walk's going to get longer, it's going to get harder. And I just want to monitor the group here today, when the Anderson family comes across your mind, stop right then and write that note of encouragement. Make that phone call. Send that text. Share that love. Tell them that you're there. They've lost something they can't never get back until, until we get to the other side. These days are long. These days are hard. Brother, Brother Anderson, your family, I love you and appreciate you. I can never pay you back for the wisdom that you've spoken in my life. And I want you to know my heart is broke today for you and your family. And I'll continue to pray and continue to lift you up. And I just pray that your family and friends here do the same thing for me. Love and appreciate you guys. Praise the Lord. Sister Huggins, and I just want to say to Brother and Sister Anderson and to Tierra that we love you. We're so thankful for Timothy, so thankful for you guys. When we first met you all in 2001, when we came to Alabama, and the friendship has grown, and the love and the respect. And I'm just thankful today this house is full to, to show their love and support and the honor for Timothy. He was always smiling, always happy always a kind person. I didn't know him close like many of you, but I knew him well enough to say that I loved him. And I'm just thankful for you all in our lives. Good morning, church. I met Timothy, well, I met the Anderson family in 2008. Um, me and, we came to uh, a family and friends. And when I first met Timothy, Timothy was always a light. So as the time went on, I, me, I just kept going to the church. Um, it was me, Dakari, and then Jacoya came. Timothy always smiled. Pastor, Sister Anderson, Tierra. I call Sister Anderson my superwoman because she's always been strong. I call Tierra, the sidekick, because her and Timothy always were together. Um, me and Timothy, he was like, Sequoia, we're going to be best friends. But around this time, I was dating. I was about to get married. So Sister Stanford came and she said, well, Timothy, you can't be Sequoia's best friend no more because she's 
she gotta be her husband for this. And I was Timothy was like, she tripping. She crazy. We gonna always be best friends. So me and Timothy been cool ever since. If I didn't show up at church, Timothy would call, he would text. Sometimes I thought Timothy was the pastor because I thought the pastor did not do that. I never been to a church where the pastor know everybody's name. Pastor knows everybody's name. Everyone I ask church members, he call us by our name. It's not hey sister, hey brother. It's hey sister Sequoia, hey sister Carr, hey brother Martirius, or something like that. But this time, we have to be strong for them because I called Pastor the other day and I told him, Pastor, it's, it's your turn now to sit back and let us take care of you guys because Pastor was there. He always been there. And my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, um, back in January, she had a brain aneurysm. Pastor was at that hospital with us every day. He didn't miss a beat. So I think we should be there for him. Well, I don't think, I know we should be there for him and them in this time of need. God would not put too much on us that we cannot handle. And right now, they are handling it. That's why I call them the super family. Superman, superwoman, and the sidekick. So you guys just keep them in there. Um, and pray for that family. Thank you. hesitated to get up and say anything, but I wanted to share a memory that I have of Timothy. Brother and Sister Anderson, we were in downtown Montgomery at your anniversary services, and we were in a room all to ourselves, but there was another party that was also in that same facility, and they started making lots of noise, interrupting our service. Well, Timothy handled it. He got that microphone and got at that keyboard, and he started singing, I'm a soldier in the army. And the praise team joined in with him, and we rocked that house. And that's one of my favorite memories of Timothy. He loved music, it was his passion, and it, I, it was just a joy to, to remember that memory of Timothy doing what he loved to do best. Lord gives strength. There's a song that said, "Will carry us when we can um, I pray as you walk in this very dark moment that the Lord will be your strength. And uh, I know that you are surrounded by a great crowd of witnesses. Those who have gone on before and understand who you guys are today. So let's keep the faith. Trust in the sovereign God. And um, when you look, you, you always can tell when someone has lived well. And when you look around here and see such a, so many persons here, just to, to show their love and respect. Sure that in his 30 years of living, he lived well. And so just stay strong. Keep the faith. I'll tell you a quick um, story. It's a true um, story, in fact. There's a man living in London, England, and um, his um, twin brother died. Went to the priest, he said, hey, you know, I'd like you to bury my, um, do my brother's funeral. And, um, but he was a very bad man. So the, he told the priest, he said, I'll pay you a large sum, just, just do it, just do one, just do me one favor. Just you have to say that he was a saint. And the priest said, I can't do that. And he begged him, he said, I'll pay you a large sum, just whatever. So anyway, 
uh, the funeral, he said, hey, you know what? The man you see laying here, he's a wicked man. He's done all kinds of terrible things. He has robbed and steal and, and uh, just went on and on. But he said, in comparison to his brother, he was a saint. And, um, and, and so, so I, I, I'm glad to see you laugh because there's times when you don't have to laugh. And um, you have to find strength in laughter. Laughter is medicine. Find something that you can laugh um, about. Remember the joys. He's, this guy here was one of the best dressers I've ever seen. I can't wear bow ties like he does. He's always cool. He wears colors that I wouldn't even imagine to wear, but it fits him. But he's just a fine young man. He will be missed, Pastor Bishop, and um, you guys just stay in courage. Your son lived well. He, he, he left an impact in a short life. Yes. I pray God's blessings upon your life and your family, and just know that we will walk with you in this very God. God bless you. say that I have always told preachers the greatest message you're going to preach is the life you lead. And a lot of messages you don't know how good they were until the end. tell you today what I have seen this week me and my wife and Tierra we didn't know that Timothy had touched so many people the Bible says let your light shine before me And just a couple of days ago, we had a discussion. And Timothy, he knew how to throw, throw something in there that, I mean, I'm asking myself, where he get that from? But we was talking about people getting called to the ministry. And he looked at me, he said, Dad, Everybody that's called to the ministry is not called to a pulpit ministry. I just want to thank you for your love. But I tell you, my heart is feeding because I know he preached a good message.
we met Timothy at Bilk. He works with us at Bilk. Um, he was all of our friends. He was a great asset to Bilk. Um, all of the customers came there looking for Timothy because he was going to get them together. Um, <laughs> with the tuxes, anything, he was going to get them together. And I wanted to say that Timothy was a good friend to me. Um, I got pregnant last year, my first baby. Timothy was there, you know, before anybody. And to my gender reveal, my baby shower, he, he was front row. And he always checked on me. I had a hard time with my pregnancy. He was always sending me messages all the time. He was a great friend to me. And I wanted to make sure I tell y'all that I'm gonna be praying for y'all. Because Timothy was a great friend. He always checked on me. To let y'all know that he will be here. Hello everyone, on behalf of our men's department, you, when I met Timothy, he first came there, he was, he did not act like a stranger to anyone. I mean, he just was on it. And we all just as welcomed him in and accepted him just like a big, I call him my big baby. I call him my Tim Tim. And he was there for every last one of us. Anytime there was a function going on in our store, Jim was front and center. And to his sister, mom, and dad, you all had a good brother. You had a good brother. You had a good son. We had a good friend, and we are going to miss it. You know what? I, we, I worked in the front part of the store. And I know, he loved to sing, and I mean, he would put you in the right key, too. <laughs> I sing a little bit in my church, but when Tim got there and we would start to sing, he'd come on him, come on him. I said, no, nah, you're going to throw me under the bus. <laughs> but you know, once we got there and put our heads together, we made that harmony. So to the family of Timothy Anderson, you all stick together. Because you might have lost a loved one, but God has gained an angel. Thank you. Amen. Amen, 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 amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Now we're going to have acknowledgments. Amen. Sis Go ahead, sis. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm here to Go give ahead. the acknowledgments for our brother, Timothy Anderson. It's a pleasure for me to stand today to do this for him. As you go through, I'm going to read cards, cards that was given for him, just a few. It was just approximately 17 left at home, and I'm quite sure it's more than that. As you go through this, difficult things can cause us to ask, why did this happen? God may never reveal his reasons, but he has revealed his character to us. He assures us that, in, that he is ever faithful, always caring, and will never leave us in our time of need. May your heart and faith rest in the Lord as you go through this difficulty. He holds you by the hand and will never let you go. And I'm going to read the scripture, Isaiah 41 and 10. Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will hold on to you with my righteous right hand. This is love, Travis and Adriana. Our thoughts are with you. We know our words can't take away your sense of loss, but we're hoping you can find some comfort in knowing the memories you shared are forever. With deepest sympathy, love, Louis, Adriana, I'm sorry, and family, Louis Borders and family. Thinking of you. We are thinking, thinking of you 
and praying peace over you and your family on this your time of need. From the PLC family, praying for peace and comfort. These are the cards, and I didn't give expressions, but I do want to say I am a part of this church family, and it, will, it won't be the same without Timothy. I know we have to press our way in. Pastor and Sister Anderson and Tierra, I know it's hard. I know it's hard to press, but God will give you strength to endure hardness, to go through. This is a time when we will pull together, pull together and be as one in Jesus' name. You know, he sang from his heart. Sometimes when he didn't feel like it, he gave God praise and he will say, today, this is today, we got to give God honor and give him glory. And he sang from his heart. Sometimes he couldn't hardly get his breath. He'll say, so, so much percentage, he, he couldn't, but he gave his everything and you couldn't tell it, not from the way he gave God glory and gave God honor. He danced, he spoke in tongues, and he did it, he, he did. He gave God his everything. We didn't know this day was coming so quick. But God is so good, and I'm just so sorry this happened. I'm so sorry that, you know, he's taken from us. We can't see him naturally. But I know in the spirit, in the spirit, in the spirit, in the, how do you in the spirit, he's there and he'll rest. He'll rest. We thank God for Pastor and Sister Anderson for the word that they give us, for the life they live, and for this church family who love Timothy, who band with him, and who will always be, will always be a church family in Jesus' name. So pray for Bible Fellowship. Pray for the pastor, Sister Anderson and Tierra, and Mother Anderson, I didn't forget you, and all, the, all his family and friends and well wishes. We thank God for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now we'll read the obituary silently. And as we're doing that, Brother Larry Thomas, why don't you get ready for the saxophone as we read that. Take a few minutes and we'll read that silently.
great thou art. Oh, yes, 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 yes. God, you're so great. You're so great. You're great. You're great. You're so great. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your greatness. Thank you for your greatness. Thank you for your greatness. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. How great thou art. Now we have a solo. Praise God. And while they're getting ready, you know that song is so timely. They say God is good all the time. But God is great all the time. He's great, he's great when we understand him. He's great when we don't understand him. He's great all the time. Praise God. I am 
love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkness You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend And I have lived In the goodness of God Would you help me say this morning all my life Cause all my life you have been faithful And all my life you have been so, so sing of the goodness of God. Testify with me this morning all my life. Lord, all my life you have been faithful. Come on, sing it out. And all my life you have been so, so good with every breath that I am made. running after me. Your goodness is running after It's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after It's running after me. Your goodness this is running after it's running after me. Your goodness is running after it's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Lift it up one more time. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running out. It's running out of me. All my life you have been faithful. And all my life. So, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God I will sing of the goodness of God Faithful, faithful to me, looking back, his love and mercy I see. For in my heart, I have questioned. to believe yet you've been faithful faithful to me
Come on, let's, let's love them just a little bit here. Come on, love them, love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. God, we thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God. Now we have a poem by one of the aunts. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name. Good morning, church family. If y'all just give me a minute, I want to send up a praise because my nephew was a praiser and we're not going to sit here and be sad. We're going to rejoice in the Lord for Timothy this morning. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for giving us Timothy, Lord God. We thank you for the years that we had to listen to him worship you, Lord God. Lord God, we give you glory, Lord God. We give you honor, Lord God. Lord, we are so thankful, Lord God. We are just thankful to have him in our lives, Lord God. Lord, we just praise you. We honor you. We give you glory, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This poem was written by my son, Jarrell, for his cousin. True cultivation of the land and the man. True strength comes in valuable numbers, regardless of what you've been told. Those valuable numbers are not nowhere close to double digits. One pure seed, one strong vessel, is all that is needed to have victory over a million different oppositions. True testimony goes hand in hand with real sacrifices. Few are destined to lead. Many do best just taking advice. We as people have come a long way over the years. May God bless the living just as well as he bless the dead. And in between, anoint the blood, sweat, and tears that have been and are still getting shed. Since there are consequences to oppression, sometimes it's like hell here on earth. It is now that time, which is also detrimental, that we dig inside ourselves and pull out our real worth. I made inside out the keystone of my theology. Simply put, it is the method that we go through to grow. Once my inner eye was open and I studied to know, it only became evident to be a direct example of it and not just for show. Remember to always embrace the real, not just what real might appear to be. Never forget, real is always going to embrace real. Everything else is just obsolete. I pray that the most powerful essence, which is the yes indeed, let Brother Timothy see enter back into the earth just as pure as it was when it entered into the world. Plus, I ask to let the vibrations of the strength of his vessel overcome the last external testing to finally get his first worthy internal blessing. As from the dirt we all come, to the dirt we must go back. By force or by choice, we are to preserve and serve, which is the first of God's eternal laws, to be exact. The natural laws of God were applied to the land first. These natural laws of God were indeed the best for the land. The natural laws of God were applied to man second. These natural laws were the best for man. Land and man are most definitely one and the same. Blood runs and pumps through the roots. Blood runs and pumps through the veins. Your seed is directly connected to all of us, Brother Timothy, just as it was when it was close and near. It will be just the same far away. This sincere love and how we think about you will never change.
Beautiful. Amen. Amen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Praise God. Brother Thomas, can you give us one more selection? Amen. And the next voice you'll hear after the selection would be that of our Bishop Stan Davis. Family, stay encouraged. God's going to lift you up. He's promised he'll walk right beside you. And God is no liar. Family, be encouraged. In Jesus' name.
Why don't we take a moment to just start, lift our hands and give our thanks to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus, we thank you for being here today. We have felt your sweet presence from the very beginning, God, and we know that you're ministering miraculously to this family and congregation. We thank you, Lord God, for all that you've done in our lives, and we know what you're going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. It is an honor to be asked to be a part of this service today. I want to recognize the many ministers that are here in support of this fellow pastor and family and uh, members of our Alabama District Board. Bishop Lewis has been a very wonderful figure in the Anderson's life for many years. And, um, Brother Anderson serves on the Alabama District Board of the United Pentecostal Church, also serves on the board of um, Building the Bridge Ministries. And Bishop Dave Henry is here today. And uh, we appreciate all of you being here. Uh, I consider Brother Anderson one of my dearest friends. I have a very, very, very deep for this wonderful man of God and his family. Brother and Sister Anderson are spiritual giants, and um, we love them very much. Love Tierra. She is sassy, sweet, probably in that order. And uh, we just love the family so much. Love Timothy. David found himself in a precarious position. Saul was doing everything within his power to destroy him. Paul had developed a very deep friendship with Saul's son, Jonathan. It seemed that Saul has hidden his evil intention from Jonathan, and David was having difficulty convincing his friend of those evil intentions. They finally made a pact. David would miss the appointed meal where they all sat at Saul's table. Jonathan would explain that he had to go visit his home in Bethlehem. And Saul responded angrily, then they would both know that David's suspicions were correct. They agreed to meet at a certain place. David was to hide behind the rock until Jonathan and his servant arrived. This was their signal. If Jonathan shot the arrows, then said to the servant searching for them that he had gone too far, then that would mean that David was safe and that Saul's anger had subsided. If he said to the servant, the arrows are beyond you, then that meant that David had been correct and that Saul was indeed trying to kill him. Most of you are familiar with the story. Saul was angry and even attempted to kill his son with a javelin when he reported David's absence. Therefore, when he shot the signal arrows, Jonathan's message to the servant rings out strongly. It is beyond thee. It is beyond thee. David, it's not the answer you wanted. David, you will have to run and hide for your life. David, you will be in jeopardy. We know that God can do anything, but sometimes what he does or does not do is beyond us. When I was asked to speak at this memorial service, I could not get these words out of my mind. It is beyond thee. I must admit that what we are dealing with today is beyond me. This is beyond the precious saints of Bible fellowship. And this is most certainly beyond the Anderson family. There are some things too big for us to comprehend. We can't wrap our finite minds around it. Our emotions can't lift the heaviness of it. It is beyond us. This is not the answer you wanted. This is not the scenario you saw playing out in your life. 
And we must all admit that we're left with more questions than answers today. I have many questions, but I do have one answer. Jesus Christ. What I'm about to share with you does not even compare with where you are today. But some lessons were learned that I want to share. My daughter Deanna and son-in-law Michael suffered dearly when their first child died at childbirth. The entire family suffered because no matter how hard one tries, there are no explanations. The whys seem to come in torrents. Why would a couple who had done it right, who put God first, who built their relationship on biblical principles, why would this happen to them when many others who simply ignore God's principles seem to not have those difficulties? Then came the stages of grief. I didn't understand them then, but I understand them now. Denial, withdrawal, shutdown, assigning blame, feeling betrayal, anger, and finally, acceptance. It was a tough period. Michael was strong, but there was a period of time before he was ready to preach again. But my point today is that the first time he stood in the pulpit and preached after this tragedy, the first words out of his mouth will stay with me forever. He said, I have been through something for which there is no logical nor theological explanation. To the Anderson family, to the members of Bible Fellowship, to the host family and friends today, I certainly have no logical explanation for you. But neither do I have a theological explanation for you. It is beyond you it is beyond me it is beyond us and when something is beyond you there are two options we can let it destroy our faith or what i feel in this building today we can dig deeper for a faith from god that can carry you through a storm I have every confidence that you are finding that miraculous faith. Remember the gift of the Spirit called faith is not just faith from God. It is the faith of God. How much faith does God have? I would give anything to not be here right now. This is not the way Bible fellowship is supposed to be. I've been here on numerous occasions, and I expect to see Timothy on that platform leading the congregation into an atmosphere of praise. If there's one thing that marks him in my mind, and it's already been mentioned several times today, was his passion for gospel music, for praise music in particular. I forgot who was leading our music one year at a particular state event. Timothy was probably in his late teens. But I told the director that Timothy Anderson would be a good person to include on the praise team. He loved music and loved singing and gave it everything that he had. From that time, I have seen him involved in many events, building the bridge praise team, men's ministry praise teams, youth ministry praise teams, and I'm sure many, many others. But the one place that he seemed to be most in his element was right here, right here on this platform at Bible Fellowship. When you walked into service here, he had a way of getting everybody together and leading in, in, you into an atmosphere of praise and victory. Planting and building this church has been a family affair from the very beginning. Roderick and Linda Anderson took a leap of faith and Timothy and Tierra took that leap with them. Timothy was five years old when this church was started. And Bible Fellowship has never known a time when Timothy Anderson was not a key part of this fellowship. I've been here for many events, district functions and, 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 and Bible church functions here and local church functions. And the spirit of excellence one sees in this church was first exemplified in the Anderson family. We have seen that spirit of excellence here today as this congregation expressed your sub tremendous love for this wonderful family. And all of these wonderful people have that spirit of excellence. Uh, I don't hesitate to say that there are a uh, among the most awesome people that I know. I love you, brother and sister Anderson, from the bottom of my heart. And the level of trust that I have for you is immeasurable. And I've always loved your children. 
When the news got out of this tragic death, a dear lady in our church in Gaza spoke to my wife about it. She said, I attended one session of Purpose Institute with a friend. And she said, I, uh, the hospitality of the church blew me out of my mind. But she said, I specifically remember the Anderson children just going everywhere, serving people, helping people, loving people. And she said, they are such awesome, awesome young people. And I concur how many people could get up and say the same thing in this congregation today. When it was time to rejoice, Timothy had a praise song to fit the occasion. When it was time to pray, Timothy had a song to fit the occasion. When it was time for fellowship and unity, Tim Timothy could sing about being a friend of God. It may seem incomprehensible, but I believe if you here, were here in person today, there would be a song of praise to lift our broken hearts and questioning spirits. As a matter of fact, I felt that when the praise team started, when we marched in about praising God and I thought okay this is this is what it ought to be like this is what it ought to be like I know our hearts are broken but we have an undying faith and confidence in our Lord Jesus Christ right now we read the book of Job but Job lived the book of Job we read the book of Job, but Job lived the book of Job. Certainly a big difference. Job lived through the Sabaeans killing his servants. Job lived through the fire consuming his sheep. Job lived through the Chaldeans stealing his camels. Job lived through the tornado killing his children. Job lived through the ridicule that his wife's bitter spirit threw at him. Job lived through the horrible pain of the boils upon his flesh. Job lived through the seven days of his best friends just sitting and staring at him. Job lived through the accusations of being unrighteous when his friends finally did speak. Job lived to face the challenges of God when God finally came out of hiding. He didn't just read the story. He lived it. All except for one part. There was one part of the book of Job that he had no idea it occurred. The opening 12 verses. He never knew about a meeting in heaven between God and Satan. He never knew that he was the subject of that meeting. And we have no record of God ever explaining it to him. Somebody knew it because somebody wrote the book of Job. But we have no record of God sitting down and saying, okay, okay, Job, this all started up in heaven in a meeting that you didn't know about. Sometimes the only thing you can say, Brother and Sister Anderson and Tierra, is it is beyond you elementary faith will teach you that God can heal your bumps and bruises intermediate faith will teach you that God will bring blessing on you if you're faithful graduate faith will teach you that God can heal all manner of diseases and even move mountains but postgraduate faith goes by a different name it's called trust and it is the deepest faith there is. Job survived because of trust. He said in Job 13 and 15, Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. 
but I will maintain mine own ways before him. Everyone in this room can testify to what God can do. But our greatest challenge often comes when we know what he can do, but he doesn't do it. He could have stopped the Sabaeans from killing the servants, but he didn't. He could have stopped the fire from killing Job's sheep, but he didn't. He could have stopped the Chaldeans from stealing the cattle, but he didn't. He could have stopped the tornado from killing Job's children, but he didn't. He could have silenced Job's wife, healed him of boils, and made his friend made sure his friends didn't come to town, but he didn't. Elementary faith, intermediate faith, even graduate faith will not get you through this one. Only postgraduate faith, trust. Though he slay me, yet will I trust him. But I want to finish with the last words of that verse. Job said, I will maintain mine own ways before him. I'm not going to change the way I live. I'm not going to change what I believed. I'm not going to change wherein my faith lies. Brother and Sister Anderson, Tierra, Precious Saints of Bible Fellowship, there is a path that you have chosen, and it is the right path. It is the right path. Amen. I want to say it again. There is a path that you have chosen to live your life by. It is the right path. You have chosen to trust in God. And that trust has brought you a long way. One thing you cannot do is allow this tragedy to make you change your course. As I will maintain my ways before him. I will maintain. This doesn't change my message. This doesn't change my hope. Trust will help you preach about a heart healer when you have a broken heart. Trust will help you preach about faith when you're wondering if you will survive. Trust will help you preach about love when you're starving for a loving hand. Trust will help you preach about a God when you can hardly see him. Trust will help you preach about a healer when you ask why he didn't heal your beloved son. But trust will help you maintain your Way, even though he slay me, yet will I trust him. And it may come from a broken heart, but you will once again lift your voice and sing. As Brother Thomas prayed for us earlier, then the sings of my soul, my Savior, God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul, my Savior, God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. And you better believe that right now, Timothy Anderson is belting out something very similar to that in heaven. He's never been a member of a praise team like the one he's singing with right now. Let us give our glory to Jesus even when we don't understand even when it is beyond us, even when we can't wrap our mind around it, he is still King of kings and Lord of lords. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this wonderful family. And we do not understand, God. And you know we do not understand. And we do not have words, Lord God, for a time like this except to know that you are supreme and that you are King of kings and Lord of lords. And I know, God, that you are faithful to those who are faithful to you. And so there's going to be a miracle a miracle touch deep within their hearts.
that they're going to find a strength that they know it is not a human strength, but it is a divine comfort from heaven above that's going to lift them through this, God. And it's going to be one to walk within them and beside them in the remaining of the journey that is before them. We thank you, Lord, for meeting with us. Your presence has been in this house today, and you have testified of your glory, and you have testified of your approval, Lord, of Timothy's life and this wonderful family and congregation. And we're praying, Lord, right now for divine protection and guidance for them in the days that are to come. And we know that you will answer that prayer because our trust is in you. In Jesus' name. Amen. I turn it over now to the directors. God bless you.